So our last loft visit, we've come to Derby to see the lofts of Mr and Mrs Dowd. Good afternoon John. Good afternoon. What system do you race? The normal traditional Widowwood system. I race 24 Widowwood cocks. Uh, do, you race, do you race hens at all? No Widowwood hens. No. What's one or two of your best positions? Uh, probably over the last three or four years have been the best positions. Over the last ten years, uh, I've had the first three on the Federation, perhaps three times. I had 15 firsts last year, 15 firsts the year before. Topped the Federation three times last year, four times the year before. Yeah, what sort of distances do you like racing from? Normally from uh, the 50 mile to 330 mile, Fraser Borough. Yeah, so a sprint to middle distance. Sprint to middle distance, yeah. Uh, I have tried last year to fly a bit further. I went to Thurzo and I went to Lerick. Uh, I got prizes at both races, but nothing. I didn't win anything. Then. These are a few of your cocks in, John. How many cocks do you race in the Widowhood? 24 cocks. There's 16 in this section. There's eight in the section next door. Yeah, when did you pair them up? 19th of uh, January. Yeah, and do you show the hens on a Friday? Always show the hens on a Friday. How often do they get the hen for on a Saturday when they return? Usually about an hour from when the first pigeon comes until the last pigeon. Yeah. I don't believe in giving rewards to pigeons that don't do the business. No, so what, the pigeons are late don't get the hens? Pigeons are late, they don't get no rewards at all. This is uh, probably one of my best pigeons, a three-year-old cock. One of the Carl Muris pigeons of Antwerp. Uh, originally brought into the country by John Lovell. I purchased them from Colin Nicholson. Uh, he's had six firsts. Uh, last year, 1995, in five Saturdays. It was first club, first club, first club. Seventh section, 42nd Open NRCC Perth. And the week after, it was second club, second federation. Do you break your widowed cocks down, John? I normally break them down on a Saturday return from race, to get 100% depurative, uh, as much as I can eat on a Saturday. On the Sunday, they're back on 50 50 50, 50% depurative, 50% racing mixtures. Yeah, what would we mix do you use? All my corner use is normally the natural product, Schumacher. Yeah. I use uh, two types of widowed mixture, the sport racer and the natural widowed mixture. The reason I do that, there's four different types of maize in it, and that's, yeah. that's what they get. Do you train your Woodward cocks during the season? My Woodward cocks are trained. I try to train them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, at a distance of between 20 to 30 mile. Uh, no ends, I don't show the ends at all when I'm training. No. The only time they see the ends is on a Friday night and a Saturday on return from race. There's a young birds, John, they say look well. How many babies do you breed each season? Approximately 50, between 50 and 60 young birds each year. Yeah, how far do they go through to? Right through the whole of the programme. When do you start training? How far do you train them? They only start training about four to five weeks before the first race. Starts at five mile, increases it up to 30 mile, and then I'll keep them at 30 mile. Yeah, they certainly look well, mate. I noticed you've got the grills on the floors in the young bird section. John, have you got them in the rest of the loft? No, only in the young bird section. They seem to be more prone to bits and bobs, diseases knocking about uh, in the young bird stage, so I just try to keep them away from the droppings as much as I can. Yeah, it certainly look well, mate. The credit to you. This is probably my best sprint pigeon I've got. He's a four year old bush art cock. He's had six times first amongst uh, and obviously other prizes, three times first federation, twice second federation. He normally races up to 250 mile. Very, very consistent pigeon. What bush art lines is he, John? The bush art lines, there's, on the sire side is a Jeff Horn bush art, and on the dam side it comes from uh, Mr and Mrs of Be Beardsmore, one of the terror bush arts. Where would you get your original birds from, John? I mainly keep three diff three families of pigeons. There's the uh, the Carl Muris pigeons of Antwerp. As I said earlier on, they were fetched into the country by John Lovell. Uh, John raced them for two or three seasons, from what they tell me. Uh, a gentleman named Colin Nicholson purchased them from John Lovell. Colin done very well with the pigeons and I purchased them from Colin Nicholson. Yeah. When you bring in breeding pigeons in, what do you look for? When I bring breeding pigeons in, what do I look for? First of all, I want to know whether them pigeons I fetch in are fetching of breadwinners. 
Uh, what I'm looking for off stock, off stock pigeons is, is results, is performance. Yeah, type doesn't really matter to you. Type, shape, colour, I'm not really bothered about that. It takes all types, all colours. It's performance that I'm looking for. These are your stock birds, John. How many pairs do you keep? Twelve pair. Yeah, when do you pair them up? Well, they're all paired up same time as my race pigeons. And what I do when the stock birds are sitting ten days, I float the first round under my race birds, and then the stock birds go down for the second round. Yeah. I noticed the old nest boxes are sort of dark and secluded. You think that's a good idea? Well, obviously you do. Well, it keeps them quiet, yeah. it keeps them calm. There's no need to be fancy in a stock loft as long as they're dry, clean, and plenty of air. Yeah. As you can see, my loft is a brick structure which I built myself, me and my brothers. It's 50 feet long. It comprises of two widowhood sections, one widowhood hen section, a young bird loft, a small area for my baskets and the corn, and finally at the end my stock bird loft. As you can see, it's a pantile roof with the two lights in the, in the actual roof to allow the sunlight and the heat to get into the loft. The main priority in the loft was to keep it dry and plenty of fresh air. You're trapped in the corridor, dear. No, they trap straight through the open door. Yeah. Here are my 24 widow hens. As you can see, they're all boxed up separately. I have tried to keep them uh, in an aviary. I've tried all sorts of different types of keeping them. The only way to keep them ordered and stop them pairing up is to keep them individually. Yeah. As you can see, they're fed and watered individually in the boxes. I don't have a problem with them being for the no. cocks on a Friday night. They, they're OK. Well, John, thanks very much for letting me see the pigeons today. It's been a great pleasure, mate. The pigeons and lofts of credit to you. Thank you very much for coming. It's been a pleasure to work with you. All the best.